Good morning, students. I know it's been a long time that you heard my voice, but today I'm back and I welcome you to Climate in Geography, Lesson 4 for Class 9. And it is presented by Ms. Kathy Dwarkadas. Today, we are going to study the Indian seasons and as we understand it, Indian seasons have a rhythm and in India, the rhythm of seasons shows us four distinctive seasons. At number one, we have summer or the hot weather season. At number two, it's winter or the cold weather season. Number three is the southwest monsoon or the advancing monsoon or what we call the rainy season. And at number four, we have a retreating monsoon season. And today, we are going to discuss one of the four seasons. But ultimately, we will have discussed by the end of the chapter each of the seasons individually. Today, we are going to talk about the hot weather season or summer. Now, before we progress with the hot weather season, I'd like you to click on this link, which will take you to the Diksha app and watch this video. So, as soon as you get this video, you will go to the description box and click on this link to the hot weather season video on Diksha app. You will watch the video. Once you have watched the video on Diksha app, you will come back to my video. Got it? Great. Now the hot weather season or summer is what we are going to talk about right now. Due to the apparent northward movement of the sun, the global heat belt shifts northward. Thus, from March to May, it is hot weather in India. In March, the highest temperature is about 38 degrees Celsius in the Deccan Plateau. In April, temperatures in Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh are around 42 degrees Celsius. In May, 45 degrees Celsius temperature is common in the northwestern parts of the country, especially in Rajasthan, where sometimes you can see it go right up to 48 degrees. In the peninsular India, temperatures remain lower due to the moderating influence of the ocean. So if you remember, we have a peninsula in India which goes down and India is surrounded by three seas on three sides. On the western side, we have the Arabian Sea. Western side is where Mumbai is, where we have the Arabian Sea right opposite school. In the southern side, we have the Indian Ocean. And on the eastern side, where you have my favorite state, Odisha, on the eastern side, you will see the Bay of Bengal. Bengal, West Bengal, Bay of Bengal. That's the way, easier way to remember it. So there are three seas that surround India. The Indian Peninsula protrudes into the three seas. Therefore, areas surrounded by the three seas have a lower temperature. The summer months experience rising temperature and falling air pressure in the northern part of the country. By the end of May, an elongated low pressure area develops in the region extending from the Thar Desert in the northwest 
to Patna and Chota Nagpur Plateau in the east and southeast. Circulation of air begins to set in around this trough. So this is exactly what you are going to see on the previous slide. What I was talking is what you see here. The range in temperature in the end of May, beginning of June, July. The pressure and a very, very important feature of the summer season or the hot weather season is loo. These are strong, gusty, hot, dry winds blowing during the day, sometimes till late evening over the north and northwestern India. Direct exposure to these winds may be harmful. Dust storms are very common during May in North India. These storms bring temporary relief as they lower the temperature and may bring light rain and cool breeze. This is also the season for localized thunderstorms associated with violent winds. In West Bengal, these storms are known as Kal Baisakhi. By the end or the close of the summer season, there are pre-monsoon showers which are very common especially in Kerala and Karnataka. They help in the early ripening of mangoes and are often referred to as mango showers. So here we talk of the three particular kinds of storms. One is the loo. You can see in the northern northwestern part. Kal Baisakhi in the eastern part and mango showers in Kerala and Karnataka. So let's take a quick recap. Hot weather season extends from March to May. Vertical rays of the sun shift towards the northern hemisphere. Temperature rises gradually from south to north. Highest temperature experiences in the Deccan Plateau in March, 32 degrees. Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh in April, around 42 degrees. Rajasthan would be around uh, 45 to 48 degrees in May. So here's a little small poem written by a person called Ezil Ruman, who is a PGT in social science. And he says, long hot days, summer fruit and vegetables are ready to be picked. You see many bees and butterflies fly flower to flower. Nice one. Trying to help you remember the summer season. Great. So until we meet again, children, don't forget to go to the description box of this video. Don't forget to click on the Diksha app link. Don't forget to watch the Diksha app video for the summer season. Until we meet again, stay home, stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, sanitize yourselves, and thank you, and have a nice day. Goodbye.